Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles. This is the third edition by the Foundation for Inner Peace. We are on Chapter 20, The Vision of Holiness. This is Section 5, Heralds of Eternity. In this world, God's Son comes closest to himself in a holy relationship. There he begins to find the certainty his Father has in him. And there he finds his function of restoring his Father's laws to what was held outside them and finding what was lost. Only in time can anything be lost and never lost forever. So do the parts of God's Son gradually join in time, and with each joining is the end of time brought nearer. Each miracle of joining is a mighty herald of eternity. No one who has a single purpose, unified and sure, can be afraid. No one who shares his purpose with him cannot be one with him. Each herald of eternity sings the end of sin and fear. Each speaks in time of what is far beyond it. Two voices raised together call to the hearts of everyone to let them beat as one. And in that single heartbeat is the unity of love proclaimed and given welcome. Peace to your holy relationship, which has the power to hold the unity of the Son of God together. You give to your brother for everyone, and in your gift is everyone made glad. Forget not who has given you the gifts you give, and through your not forgetting this, will you remember who gave the gifts to him to give to you. It is impossible to overestimate your brother's value. Only the ego does this, but all it means is that it wants the other for itself and therefore values him too little. What is inestimable clearly cannot be evaluated. Do you recognize the fear that rises from the meaningless attempt to judge what lies so far beyond your judgment you cannot even see it? Judge not what is invisible to you or you will never see it, but wait in patience for its coming and it will be given you to see your brother's worth when all you want for him is peace. And what you want for him, you will receive. How can you estimate the worth of him who offers peace to you? What would you want except his offering? His worth has been established by his father, and you will recognize it as you receive his father's gift through him. What is in him will shine so brightly in your grateful vision that you will merely love him and be glad. You will not think to judge him, for who would see the face of Christ and yet insist that judgment still has meaning. For this insistence is of those who do not see. Vision or judgment is your choice, but never both of these. And I'm going to stop there and we will pick up the second half of Section 5 tomorrow. Heralds of Eternity. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me and I will see you tomorrow.